So hello friends, today we're going to do something very different to what we usually do in the channel which is lens repair. We're going to add additional RAM to this computer which is here behind and then here I have these RAMs that I got today and then I'm going to explain you how to proceed and then obviously the first step is to figure out which RAM you need for your computer and then there are two methods that I know the first one is you go to a RAM vendor web page and then you usually put the specs of your computer and then it's going to propose you something and 99% of the time that's okay the other way that is if you want to buy for example second hand RAM which I did here because are, they are a lot cheaper you find the specs specifically of your processor you go to the web page of that vendor for example here and then you scroll down and then it will tell you somewhere for example here which RAMs that processor is going to accept and then you take that in consequence and then you go and find your RAMs and then for example for this processor here the only RAM I can use is 2666 megahertz so these are the ones I bought these are for server and then this computer is a Dell 7820 which has dual processor so what we're going to do I'm going to open the computer I'm going to show you how to do it it has dual processor but then the things I'm going to show you here will apply as well to a standard processor so what we do now is to open the computer just let me put these RAMs aside and then well, the Dell computers have, you have usually a lever that you can just simply raise but then sometimes you have just a screw here on the side well this is the back of the computer where I'm moving my hand you have one screw that you just need to get loose and then you can pull back the cover for example here I just need to pull it up that will depend on the model of the computer but that's not very difficult to figure it out then I put the cover somewhere safe so I don't break it And then here you go, this is the interior of the computer. And then what we're going to do now is to put the additional RAM. So generally you will find some fan covers. So for example here. And then here I have already some RAM memory that I have installed previously. Now I will have two. I got six and since I have two processors I'm going to put three here and then three below and then we'll see the below just after okay, let me put the memories here and then here you need to pay special attention because there are specific numbers specific orders so you put the RAM so I have used already the slot one this one is a slot 2. I need to go for the slope a slot. Uh, right. I just wanted to make sure. 1, 3, 5. Okay, so I will have to go for the 3. I remove. I move the small levers that are going to lock the run in place. And then I just push. here you go that's one of the guys and then I will look for the slot number four and that's my head that you're seeing there slot number four here to move the small levers
and then you have to push and to, to get the click and then the slot 5 and then I'll have just space for one upgrade for a later stage then here you go I have put my three RAM memories here so that will make me a total of 128, 136 because I have 18 GB here which I'm going to keep this is the ones I got with the original computer now I will have to remove uh, this big connector here okay I will remove this one for the time being okay, here you go for the putting back it will be easier okay so I'm showing you the back of my head and then on this computer I have like a, this wheel system and you have like a bin and then you just pull everything to find the additional processor then once again we just need to remove this cover here and then we get to the second processor And then I repeat as before, I show you the back of my head and then I look for the slots I want to use. Make sure it does the clip. Otherwise, your computer is not going to start after. So I look for the next slot. It's the one here. It's the same order exactly as before. And then usually if you have a single processor computer, this is what you have. So now we can go back and put this ventilation thing here. Now we'll put the second slot. configuration make sure you have everything in the in the guiding rails because there is some guiding rails here and then make sure when you pull the lever it should go in position you don't need to force anything let us not forget to Connect the power. And then put again this protection fan on the cable. I just want to understand. It goes, okay. it goes here on the side. 
So we got that. Now I get the cover. And then that should be it. So, as you can see, it is absolutely not difficult to do it yourself. You just need to be careful not to be brutal with your computer, and that's all. Now, we're going to test this guy. And this is all I wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Huh?